Let's start. Hello, my name is Jose Rubinger and I'm representing Kitchen Neighbor team from UA. Imagine your life today if you had never been able to hold a pencil but could understand everything that your parents are saying to you. Julia, for example, that was born with cerebral palsy. And, sorry. And denying people with disabilities their right to education has a lifelong impact on learning, achievement, and employment opportunities. They are not learning how to improve their skills in early childhood. How many thoughts become unexpressed? How many stories were not told? The social impact is huge. Schools are not prepared, children are segregated, and millions are not inside the schools. But I have good news. Julia still can hold a pen, but she can write and is learning inside a regular classroom. Ahmad can't say a word, but he can communicate and study. And everything started because of this man. He was born in cerebral palsy and graduated in computer science using this head pointer and came up with a great idea. Together with him, we developed KX, a keyboard that works with the combinations of colors and symbols and is part of an all-in-one set of patented assistive tools that together with our educational platform that uses AI to build tasks and activities in less than five minutes, we are far ahead from our competitors. Our solution helped Allison to publish his first book, uh, and, we, and he can even hold a pen. It also made Marina go to university and graduate in journalism. But this is not only a humanitarian cause. It's a 22 billion market that grows every year. More than 15% of the population has some kind of disability. In the UAE alone, we have thousands of students waiting for our solution. And if you go for only 10%, we are talking about 30 million market for the next three years. In the MENA region, multiply this by 20. It's unbelievable. But are we profitable, predictable, and scalable as a social impact venture? Of course we are. Our revenue comes from direct sales plus monthly subscription plans that we call accessibility as a service. We are the only one solution, all in one solution for schools, rehabilitation centers, healthcare professionals, and also for the end users. Uh, for example, uh, we installed the, the solution inside the classrooms and we train the teachers and the caretakers to use them with the children or the patient. By doing that, we give them autonomy so they become the main actors in their learning process, which of course will shorten the time that they usually take to develop their skills. Working with this model, we finished our year with more than 4,000 users, 400 schools and $600,000 in revenue last year, bootstrapping. That was only possible because of our fantastic team. Only in this picture, we have 200 years in experience. I have been working in technology since 1981, always as an entrepreneur and had two exits in Brazil. Marcelo, William and Alexandre have been working in sales, technology and in the educational field for the past 20 years. This is our tech team, you name it and they will build it. And of course, we have the woman power in our team. They are the knowledge department, they have all the answers. Let's make the future possible for these kids. They will be able to work inside our companies and maybe we can find some geniuses. If you would like to learn more, please come see uh, after the presentation. Dear Jose, thank you so much. Um, you are in timing. Dear judges, it's your turn, Q&A session. You're doing a really great job, um, but can you explain the business model? Yes, I can. Uh, actually, we have an all-in-one set of assistive technology developed by us, developed there in Brazil. And what we do is we concentrate all the other assistive technology that there is in the market. And we also created an educational platform that starts from the beginning, the communication, one, two, three years old. Then we go to the learning process and then we go to the um, for example math and actually in Brazil it's Portuguese but here it's English and other languages and we put all of them inside the schools for teachers, uh, shadow teachers, caregivers, uh, they, they use uh, the solution with the kids so it gives them uh, plenty of information uh, while they were they are very young in early childhood. Okay, but who, who's paying for your services? Okay, sorry. Uh, the school pays for the service in a subscription-based model. We also sell this to uh, parents because when they see their 
children uh, using this in their schools, they can also uh, buy with us in a subscription model plan. Mm -hmm. And you already have some traction, yes? Yes, we have already 400 schools and around 5,000 users at the moment. Okay. Mainly in Brazil, we also have some here in the, the region, in, I'm here in the UAE, and we also have in the United States and in Chile. Mm -hmm. And you are located in Brazil? Actually, I'm living here in Abu Dhabi uh, because we, uh, yes, we, we are part of Microsoft for Startups and Hub71, but everything is going very well, thanks God, in Brazil. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. How much are you selling them and how did you get to the price? How much? Sorry, again? Yes, how much are you selling your product and how okay. did you get to the price? Uh, we we have a subscription model uh, that var varies from $80 to uh, $600 per month because, for example, the families, they only need some of the assistive technology. So they can uh, actually act, uh, go for a subscription plan for only what they need. But when I talk about rehabilitation centers and the schools, they need all the solution. So, uh, of course, we have also consultancy that we can sell and also uh, any other thing that they need to, to put this inside the schools and rehabilitation centers. Okay. Okay. Anyway, that's, a good, that's a good initiative. Thank you very much. We are making so many parents and kids very happy every day. It's, it's something very important to see. This is the equipment, actually one of the parts. Yeah.